Jeff Raccoon 47 here once again to show you something interesting and unique. Well, this is an, a dummy model of an M29 rifle, M21, I mean, rifle grenade. Well, what way these worked was you would take this right here, let me show you, and you, you slip this over the end of the barrel of a rifle, slip this end over the barrel of a rifle, and you shot it off the, the bar because the rifle had a adapter on it which allowed you to fire it off the rifle using a blank charge eventually these wore out the rifles and made the barrels burst and that's why we today have actual self-made grenade launchers and we have things like the law rocket rpgs and stuff like that today because these things eventually ruined rifles after you used them so often. They didn't like using them. You still, a few countries still use rifle grenades, like a few of the former Eastern Bloc countries still use them. Still have the adapters, and you could probably still fire this particular. But this has been demilled. You can tell because, check that out right there, they, they dented it in the side. And then they dented it on front, and they messed up the fins, or they wouldn't stabilize correctly. But this is just a good, interesting conversation piece. I repainted it where it looked like like the old, the old original non-practice version. Painted it all of drab, which is what the live ones were painted. There's no markings. It would actually also be marking seeing what it was on the side. There's none on this, so so you can't. So it's still recognizable as a training, a training grenade, simply by being dented up and dinged up, intentionally demilled like that. But this is the anti-tank. There were several types. There were anti-tank and anti-personnel rifle grenades. This is an anti-tank. This one was a representative of an anti-tank grenade. You can tell by the heat warhead. This was a shape, this and the real thing, this would be a shape charge, there would be explosives in here, and this would be used to melt through the body of a tank. They use these a lot in movies. They find the old ones. They usually, they sometimes remove these fins right here and use these to replicate RPG rounds. They add, they add and weld some stuff onto them and put them on an RPG, fake RPG launcher. But this, like, like I say, this is the M21. It's a, a rep, it's a reproduction of the M21 rifle grenade. And it was used from from the late 1940s till the early years of the Vietnam War. The number of these were used in Korea. Take out North Korean and Chinese tanks in, in the Korean War. And just thought you might be interested in seeing something unique and unusual like this. I got this a few years ago back when I, like I said, it's one of those things that you bought on an impulse and people see and say wow what the heck is that well folks it's an m21 anti-tank right it's a dummy it's a dummy now it's not real it's a dummy m21 anti-tank grenade training tr trainer it's the trainer it was it was U.S. made right here in the U.S. But you, you these are very rare now. So I probably got some mutton. I probably that probably isn't worth much, except to a fellow collector like me. And you you probably if you took it to a pawn shop, you probably wouldn't get much for it. But, of course, they're they're about they they probably wouldn't give you much, but they probably sell it for twice what they give you for it. But it's it's a nice, it's an interesting item to have. Well, just wanted to show you this cool item. Hope you have a nice day and good luck.